everyone <laughs> thought I was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous at first, but then I felt like a princess. <laughs> Blake, today I reckon it's time to get back to our, our favourites. Would I lie to you, a Lee Mack story? Your boy. Yes, my boy, my boy. <laughs> oh, what a journey. <laughs> <laughs> what a huge journey. Uh, this video has been recommended by Korma, who was nice enough to give us a donation in the uh, buy us a donation link that we put in the description. So this, his video suggestion went straight to the top of the pile. Thanks, Korma. So today's video is what I lie to you, Lee yeah. Mack's story about bridesmaids. I can only imagine this is going to be brutal or so inappropriate, inappropriate I should say, and I'm loving it already. <laughs> There's only one way to find out, let's crack into it. When I was seven, I had to be a bridesmaid at my auntie's wedding. <laughs> I was seven, I had to be a bridesmaid <laughs> at my auntie's wedding as one of the girls who was supposed to do it was ill and the dress was a perfect fit. <laughs> what did the dress look like? Um, I describe the colour as traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have to have a bridesmaid? Why couldn't they just say, if she's not well, let's move on? Uh, I think you mix me up with admin. <laughs> Someone says to me, put the dress on, I'd put it on. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Do as I'm told. So you didn't display any reluctance to put the dress on? I may have said, you know, mother, father, I am a seven-year-old boy, despite the fact that I am two years younger looking and slightly androgynous. But please, give me some dignity. How much my father to... turned around to me, he said, son, when I was your age, he had a pipe. When I was your age, <laughs> my father asked me to put a dress on, and I put it on, and his father before him, and his father before him. <laughs> he'll put the dress on, and you'll smile. <laughs> was there a page boy as well as bridesmaids at this wedding? I was a mm. page boy once, and if another boy had dressed up as a girl, I would have felt it was fair mm. game to I persecute that, him. Well, true, but luckily the page boy came up to me, little Sharon, and he said... <laughs> uh, he, said he said, tell me about it, you know, you think you've had a rough day. You know what I mean? I'm a 24-year-old. <laughs> How much notice did you get? Pardon? How much notice did you get? Quite, quite a few people. So I think, you know, from memory, quite a few people were, ah, oh, ah. Oh. No, 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 oh, you no. idiot. How much was warning? <laughs> How far in advance? Oh. I genuinely <laughs> thought you meant notice. How much, how much, how much notice did you get? <laughs> that was a genuine one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how much I notice? Was like, <laughs> oh, everyone thought I was adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous at first, but then I felt like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the Charles oh, Dance. See, how much, how, much, how much in advance did they yeah. tell me? Yeah, um, how much notice? How much notice did I get? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That would be embarrassing if this was on television, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got, uh, I think I got like, I don't know. Five hours or something. She was ill at the last minute, and I just think you would have absolutely refused. At well, that listen. I said, Dad, I don't want to do it. Anyway, listen. I'm not your dad. I'm your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I'm sick of you constantly calling me dad. <laughs> the other one, that's your dad. <laughs> How long did you have to keep the dress on? At what point in the proceedings? I mean, did you have to wear it right through to the disco and, uh, you know... Walk My dad says you'll keep it on till the, uh, till the music starts. <laughs> da 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 Because, unfortunately, the cabaret act had cancelled because of illness. <laughs> so what do you think, game, David? Does that uh, sound at all plausible to you? Would you like to start? I'm going to let you take the reins on this one. <laughs> like we've learnt with a Bob Mortimer story, it can be absolutely bonkers, but it's most likely going to be true. When there's an absolute bonkers Lee story, it is most likely going to be a lie. And that story was ridiculous. 
A hundred percent agree. I, I think, yeah, you can always tell with Lee if he embellishes stories or if he just goes too far out there with his jokes, especially. Yeah. Like to, to carry other people's jokes about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's my telltale Lee, for Lee to say lie. Yeah, I, I think I think this one's going to be lies for, for both of us. Should we find out? Let's find out. What do you think, Evie? I really want it to be true. Well, I'd say true. <laughs> I actually think go. it could genuinely be the biggest load of drivel I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be true. I don't think it's true. Mm. Lie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Lie. The idea of because they were sick, one, you don't, you don't need someone to really fill in the spot, and you don't just look for someone that has the same body type. You would just choose someone else and the outfit might be slightly wrong. Or if it's a boy, just let him wear whatever he was wearing to the wedding. Don't 100%. make him dress. Like, that's too too scarring for a child. And as as Rob said, like, the, the persecution that you'd get from just yeah. the other kids your age, like, it's a bit unfair. Never a shadow of doubt in my mind on this one. Yeah, I was about to say, let's find out. But no, no, let's just hear him say this is obviously a lie. <laughs> yeah, let's get it confirmed. Conclusively, it's a lie. Lee, truth or lie? It's a lie. <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Good one. Of course he wanted that to be true. That would be hilarious. Imagine if, like, just we were being so confident and it's just like, no, no, that, that happened. That was real. <laughs> that is why he is the way he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the day I decided to get into comedy. <laughs> that was really good. Uh, yes, thank you, Korma, for suggesting that one. That was great. Anything from Lee Mack is always going to be a fun time. Absolutely. Guys at home, did you also enjoy that one? Please let us know in the comments or hit the like button and we'll be making more just like this one. <laughs> And if you want to see more uh, Would I Lie To You reactions, specifically the Lee Mack stories, hit on that playlist just up there to find them. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.